from the sweetest from the Swedish from the sweet hello everyone my name is Ashton and I'm just trying to get it together so in today's video we're going to talk about six dog breeds that I didn't know existed anyway before we get started don't forget to like comment and subscribe so I went through and I looked and I was like you know what I've never heard of these dog breeds and if you're interested just let me know <laughs> like I have a bunch of dog breeds I've never heard of I legit didn't know that they did they're super cute but I just didn't know so let's get to it so first of all you have the and I'm gonna destroy this pronunciation the Chippa Parai. <laughs> it is a form, from what I understand, of Greyhound from India. It requires a lot of exercise. Um, it is pretty good as far as health concerns. It's not like some breeds where, unfortunately, they have so many health problems, unfortunately. Uh, but sometimes this breed is prone to having hip dysplasia, which is common among a lot of larger dogs. They are sight hounds with a gentle temperament. They are very rare endangerment of extinction. Even though they're so cute. They are protective, energetic, and they're actually a descendant of the Saluki, which is actually a very, very popular breed as far as some of the larger dog shows are concerned. If you ever watch the Westminster or the Crufts dog shows, the Saluki is usually a breed that's pretty high up there as far as scoring is concerned. Anyway, this dog is super cute. I would love to have one. They're adorable. Okay, I picked this dog because it's super cute. All right, um, I'm from the Southern United States. So whenever I read it, I wanna read it as Driver. <laughs> <laughs> but it may be Javer or 15,000 other things. It is generally healthy, good natured, and likes a non working lifestyle. And I'm actually going to read this from my notes. Breed developed in the 1850s and were imported into Sweden. And in 1947, the name was changed to Drever. So the name comes from the Swedish Drev, meaning drive reflecting the breed's ability to drive game to the hunter. That's cool. The dog is adorable. Okay, next we have a blue lacy. It's also called a Texas blue lacy. So, something else here is hip dysplasia. They have some skin problems and some joint problems. So, things like that are common with the breed. So some things that are known about this breed is they're of high speed, they want to work, and they seem to be very well temperamented. I just want to run with it around the yard and throw it a stick and just love on it. And so this dog's an A+. It's adorable. Next, we have the Central Asian Shepherd Dog. This dog looks so excited to be there. Um, it looks like a big Oh my God. So the bad thing about this dog is there are some health problems here. You have hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, other things, as well as bloat. This is something that affects large dogs. You see this a lot with Great Danes, even bloodhounds. I have to watch mine. They are calm and vigilant protectors. They have a pack mentality and they have a leadership over their pack. They will form a deep attachment to their master. Mm -hmm. I wanna snuggle it. That's all I wanna do is snuggle it. Yeah. Moving along. Okay, next we have the Dutch Smush Hound. 
yes, we have the Dutch Smush Hound. I didn't know the Dutch Smush Hound existed. But Dutch are instantly cooler because of the Dutch Smush Hound. You probably don't say it like Smush Hound, but I kind of want to say it like Smush Hound forever. Um, but I just, you know, whatever. So they have very little health problems. That's excellent. They're super cute. It's related to the Schnauzer. Schnauzers are excellent dogs. So, okay, that's a big deal. It's also affectionate. And these dogs are actually okay in apartments. And the last dog we have for our didn't know these dogs existed is the Bolognese. in the Bichon family, if you've ever seen a Bichon Frise, um, it's a white cotton ball that has four legs. Um, it's in the same family and it looks basically the same. <laughs> ha ha, they're prone to barking. <laughs> they're very family friendly. They are loving and affectionate. They're small. They're probably a good apartment or small house dogs if you would need them to be. Um, just be careful with the frequent barking. There are also strong bonds between family and children with these dogs. But the name comes from the uh, city in which they originated from, which was the city of Bologna. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so that's it for the first six of, and this is TBA, but these are the first six dog breeds that I didn't know existed. Um, if you're interested in this, let me know. If not, whatever, it's fine, whatever. But if you're interested in this, let me know. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to hear from you. Um, yeah, these dogs, the smush hound, what? That's adorable, what? The Drever Drever. Who knows? Love that. That's it for today's video. See y'all next time. Obviously I had to take a look at the bloodhound because I have one and I love my bloodhound. Bloodhounds are so cute. <laughs> Ease of training for a bloodhound is a one out of five. <laughs> Who would have thought?